American Civil War was one of the worst wars in U.S. history. More Americans died in this war than in any other. It lasted for four years and started at Fort Sumner in South Carolina. Even though that state had left the Union, Union soldiers remained in the fort and Confederates wanted them to leave. When Union General Robert Anderson refused, General Pierre Beauregard fired cannons at the fort on April 12, 1861, until General Anderson surrendered. By 1862, the southern states had been worn out by the war. Rebel forces controlled the Mississippi River. General Ulysses S. Grant needed to take over the city of Vicksburg, which stood beside the river. He won five battles over the course of three weeks. By April 2, 1865, the Confederates had lost so many soldiers that their general, Robert E. Lee, had to abandon Petersburg and Richmond, surrendering them to Grant. A week later, Lee sent a note to Grant and they met at the Appomattox court Courthouse in Virginia. As a condition of their surrender to the Union, the rebels would not be charged with treason. In July of 1862, Lincoln confided to his captains that he was prepared to surpass the legal powers of the presidency and exploit his unique wartime power as commander-in-chief. He announced his intention to abolish slavery in the rebellious states, not only to undermine the Confederacy's economic strength, but to end slavery in America forever. On New Year's Day of 1863, President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which stated, I do order and declare that all persons held as slaves are and henceforth shall be free. These were powerful words for the four million Southern slaves. The Civil War had already been going on for almost two years. Lincoln's proclamation didn't immediately free all of the nation's slaves, but it did give a glimpse of future changes to come. He wanted to end the war and also unite the country once again.